KETK News is your local election headquarters. Election day is tomorrow, <laughs> and East Texans are more than ready to cast their vote. And here we go. KTK's Lauren Magoda spoke with some voters today to see what's driving them to vote Lauren. Yes, Neil Casey, after months of reading up on the issues, East Texans are ready to make their voices heard. Everyone has their reasons for voting this election cycle. Inflation, that's a big one because like as the prices go up, it's harder for me to, I guess, buy things. Political science professor Mark Owens talks about the issues he thinks are most important to voters right now. I think clearly East Texans are going to be somewhat similar to the rest of the nation. The economy is going to be important. And then finally, a big topic that will be in the governor's race, right in the attorney general's race, is going to be related to border security. A recent UT Tyler poll that surveyed just under 1,000 registered voters shows the top 10 concerns include the economy, securing the border, gun rights, and reproductive rights, issues that make an impact on younger voters too. I think something that matters most to me is especially more rights towards women, especially like their body. I do believe that it is a woman's choice. Part of gubernatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke's campaign focused on gaining the college vote. I've noticed that a lot, especially in this county area, majority of like older individuals vote and not many younger ones. And I wanted to make that difference and like make sure that I took my opportunity to vote. But regardless of age, many East Texans already took advantage of early voting. It's important for everyone to go vote because like if a million people said, oh, my vote doesn't matter, that's a million votes that weren't cast. Because every vote counts. And tomorrow is the big night. You can tune in right here on KETK for all the election coverage that you can count on. I'm live in studio, Lauren Margolis, KETK News. Lauren, thank you. And with just hours left before the polls open tomorrow, candidates are bringing their campaigns to a close as they prepare for decision day.